hey guys ujwal here and today i'm gonna show you how to replace your worn brake pads with a new set of brake pads like these so to do that we'll be using common hand tools like socket set a plier a wheel spanner a jack and a new set of brake pads like these so let's just dive into it So to begin with, we'll be removing the lug nut caps and then unscrew the lug nuts and I'll, I'm using extra leverage for that so the work will be easy AF. Now we'll look under the car to find this jacking point of the car and take the jack, put it under the car and start jacking the car up so you will be jacking up the car until this wheel started spinning like so so now we will secure the jack I am using another jack here but you can stake up some bricks and use it like thieves too so you can use bunch of bricks and now to check whether the jack are sturdy will slightly shake the car so it feels sturdy now I'm removing the lug nuts from so now try slightly tap the wheel or you can use kicks as well and it's out now so I'll put this wheel under the car for extra safety so if car fails it have something to support it here uh, I'm comparing the size of new brake pad to the old one so that the fit is exactly the same now we'll turn the steering to the left so to have much more space to work on now I'll take 12mm socket here and just unscrew the lower caliper bolt like so and take it out so now I'll shake the caliper and push it outwards now I'll take the upper bolt out as well and take the caliper out and place it on the top of disc now I'll remove the disc pad and you can see it's completely worn out and you can compare it with the new one which have a lot more material to scrub now we'll state up the steering to remove its dust and also to resurface this disc surface Here we are done sanding and it's bit clean now so now we will come to the brake hardware which came in the package as well so we'll compare it to the old one and just push this in so it's always good to compare your new parts with the old one so that it's perfectly fit in the place so we'll do the lower as well and now we'll take the caliper pin out of the place which is here and clean it with the cloth and now we'll put some silicon grease to it and put it back in so uh, do the same for the lower as well and now we'll take the brake pad out of the box and place it on the brake hardware and just push in the brake pad and also take the inside which is here and do the same for the rear as well push them really in so now we'll come to the caliper so this is the caliper piston and we have to compress it and to do that you can buy a brake piston compressor or you can use your old brake pad and just a nut and bolt to push it in you can see it's going in now oh, my back 
can tell no one with you and I'm so about to change the evolution But to shake the ground you feel it moving with the revolution So now you can see the piston is completely in so place the caliper in place and align the caliper bolts as well and just push this in now we'll screw the bolts in and snug it with a ratchet so you don't have to tighten it so much because it's not that now it's time for some magic and here is the paint and it's done now so if you do this work at home it will save your 1000 to 1500 rupees and you don't have to say because you can buy it by yourself now so if you like this video give it a like a comment and subscribe to the channel and i'll meet you guys in the next one thank you bye bye